Hi, I'm Mark with Snap-on. In this video, I'd like to introduce the newest addition to Snap-on's torque and tensioning product category, the pneumatic spin torque. The spin torque combines an automatic two-speed pneumatic motor assembly with an epicyclical gearbox and a double enveloping worm gear assembly to produce 360 degrees of continuous hex rotation during operation. In fact, spin torque is the only low profile continuously rotating torque wrench available today. When this technology is compared to low profile ratcheting hydraulic wrenches, you'll find that spin torque can provide similar access to fasteners while allowing the operator to complete the job as much as 80% faster. The spin torque's dual motor technology makes the tool an automatic two speed, meaning there's no shifting required allowing for a fast rundown and precise final torque application. The wrench's head can be indexed independently from the wrench body, which allows the handle to be positioned ergonomically for use. The ability to index the handle also provides more flexibility during operation, allowing the tool to be used in less than ideal positions. Spin Torque also has a durable powder coating, allowing it to be used in demanding environments. Spin Torque models cover a torque range of 140 to 8,000 foot-pounds, and the wrench heads are interchangeable, allowing one dry body to work with several heads. You'll need to check your manual to determine which heads can be used with your dry body. I'll now demonstrate the setup and operation of this unique tool. We first have to find the torque spec for the fasteners we will tighten. In this case, the fastener requires 300 foot-pounds. So we will consult our torque chart to determine the amount of pressure that should be supplied to the tool. Once we know the correct pressure, we make sure the FRL is connected to a proper air supply and has plenty of oil in the reservoir. With the tool attached to the regulator, we adjust the regulator to the appropriate pressure while the tool is free spinning. Now we need to position the spin torque onto the fastener with the reaction arm squarely blocked by the adjacent fastener. Note that a backup wrench, as we are using here, makes most bolting jobs safer and easier. The tool is designed to fit standard ANSI and API piping flanges, allowing the tool to react off of adjacent fasteners during use. Then we simply press the secondary trigger and engage the primary trigger. When the tool stalls, the fastener has been torqued to the desired target. Now we just need to reverse the tool to remove it from the fastener. The two features that set this remarkable tool apart from all others on the market are its size and speed. Spin torque is a game changer when it comes to flange bolting application because the tool can access the same limited clearance fasteners as low profile ratcheting hydraulic wrenches, but it allows the user to complete the job many times faster. Hydraulically driven options are also available for sub C applications. For more information about this and many other unique tools in Snap-on's torque and tensioning lineup, contact your Snap-on representative today.